Well, at Hughes Water Gardens, they have information all year long, and I'm here with Eamon Hughes right now, and we're going to be talking about spring cleanup because it's that time of year when there's some things that we need to start doing. So, you know, Eamon, let's start with plants. Well, plants, this time of year, you should have done all of your cleanup last fall mm -hmm. to protect, stop it rotting into the water. But I pulled out a few lilies here just to show the viewers what happens. Any of these old leaves, just trim off your lily. Any broken leaves, damaged leaves, here we have some holes in them. So just trim those off. You can use a scissors or your nail. Um, here you'll see some little young ones starting to unfurl. So uh -huh. you want those to come up. This is the start of your growth this year. And then down in here, see the little tiny bud? Oh, there this it is. This is the first water lily wow. that you'll have this season. So things are moving in the pond. The water temperature is rising. Yeah. So that's on the lily. And then on some of the marginals, you may still have some residual leaves. And most of this will come off. If not, just use the scissors on it. Yeah, it so just, just tidy pull right it up. There. What you want to do is you don't want this rotting back into the pond and creating algae problems, too much nutrient in the water yeah. later for you. Now, and, I, go ahead. And the final thing you want to do with your plants at this time of year is give them a little bit of a feed, a localized feed. These small tablets, they're just on your lily, just push them in. Right in there. Well, that's easy. A couple. Of, you put about three or four in a lily. Yeah. And that remains localized with the lily here, and it's not going to get out into the water. And it's right there in the root system of the yeah. lily as well. And that's all you have to do, and from then, your plants are going to start growing well through the season. Okay, so that, that's plant care. What about if I have fish? If you have fish, you know, the temperatures, we're ha having a cool spring. Uh -huh. So as soon as water temperature comes up to about 45, you can start feeding them spring food. So there's a spring and fall food available that's mostly wheat germ. Um, this is the best one to use at this time of year because the fish cannot digest the protein early in the season uh -huh. uh, until the water temperature rises. And if they have a chance, you know, at your local store to find one of these, it's sort of the idiot-proof thermometer. It makes it so simple. You know, and in the, in the purple zone, you don't feed. In the blue zone, you do the wheat germ. And then once you get above 50, you can go into the protein yeah. for summer. And very, be very fine easy, for the summer. easy, easy to do. So uh, now, okay, we've got, the, we've got the plants, we've got the fish. Now, you know, I, I will be the first to admit that a lot of my ponds get a little green. <laughs> uh, well, it's the Irish, you know, yes, we sell the true. Irish plants. <laughs> no, it, it, particularly from about March on, people start getting some algae forming. Mm -hmm. and, and the main reason for that is the plants aren't actively growing. There's some nutrients in the water. The plants aren't there to lock it up, so the algae takes advantage of it. And if it's, if it's string algae, you could use something like algae off, which they guarantee, you know, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll pay you for this if it doesn't uh, rid it of the string algae. If you sprinkle these granules on, the algae flows to the surface and you just net it off. Net it right off. So this works very well for the string algae. Uh, as an ongoing thing, though, in your pond, you would want to put in some bacteria. Okay. And this microbe lift is very good for that. It also breaks down any sludge that's on the bottom of the pond mm -hmm. after the winter. So getting the bacteria in is very important. Nice. And one final thing I'd mention is the mosquitoes may start coming in, you know, this month. It doesn't we, take much heat, if does we it? Get, yeah. If we get any <laughs> heat, William. So these mosquito dunks are great. It's specific just to mosquitoes. It'll only kill the mosquitoes. And you float one in the pond, last three months, nice. and it'll kill all the larvae of the mosquitoes. Well, you know, I, I know as a gardener, I've always been kind of overwhelmed by pond stuff, but tell you, I'll tell you what, you can go to classes every week. Don't you uh, have classes? Saturday and Sunday, go to our website at HughesWaterGardens.com, and we have a listing of it. And this will be done in more detail yeah. at some of those classes. They're well, very good. It certainly takes all of your, if you have fear like me, it takes it right away. It gives you clear information, and you can always go out to uh, Hughes Water Gardens as well and get a great staff there to give you all the help you need with your pond. So I, I tell you what, let's, let's get to work on uh, the pond back there and uh, get some, uh, some algae killing. Thanks, when the rain stops, yeah. take care of it. <laughs>